Hey, welcome. Hey, um, a lot of you guys are all uh, have some developed plants by this time of the year. And uh, some of you guys are hardening off the plants, uh, putting them outside for uh, like an hour worth of sunlight, bringing them in next day, maybe an hour, hour and a half, two hours, so on and so forth. But this video, I figured I'd touch upon aphids. Aphids will eat your plants. They will destroy them. Um, uh, I'll end up putting the comments in the comment section, like a picture of uh, aphid blown up so you can see them. So, um, if you get them, there's still hope. You got to uh, detect them as fast as you possibly can. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do all of that. And, uh, actually I can't turn this phone around. So let's, let's do it this way. So what you do let's see go up to this plant and you want to inspect it so you go up to the leaf look at anything on top okay then you flip it on the bottom you look to see if there's any like these white little uh, white kind of transparent more translucent little creatures on there insects and uh, and then sometimes you want to maybe run your fingers across the dirt and look at some of that as well. See if anything's there. Inspect your plants that way. Um, I inspect my plants as I water them and everything. Um, so if you get them and you catch them early enough, there's multiple things you could do. Uh, it, first initial thing you could do is you could actually let's move it over here. We could actually get like Dove dish soap, and I think other dish soaps work. Get a squirt bottle, squirt one or two squirts in there, shake it up, let it let it the foam go down a little bit. Spray your plants, spray on top of the leaves. Underneath the leaves are very important the stems. One huge mistake people do not do is you need to spray that soil. Because when you spray it and they have aphids on it, they drop onto the soil and they're alive. You just knock them down basically. So you need to spray on top of that soil. Um, I'm not perfect on this subject, but I've, I've had them ooh, about once every two years for the, like the last four or five seasons. So keeping that in mind, um, I prefer ladybugs. But um, on, the, on the spray section... Do it about twice a week until they're gone. It's usually a minimum of two weeks. Um, also, one thing I've done no, have noticed is that uh, sometimes they'll have eggs. You, you got to really spray them. You really got to get them. Um, also, it could put your plant into shock if there's too much soap in there. It's not really great for your plant. That's why I get a ladybugs. Now we'll get to that in a second. Um, other people use neem oil. You can spray neem oil on your plants. Uh, local nursery should have that. Um, also, um, praying mantises. I like to go the natural way um, on things. Ladybugs. Pros and cons. Pros that they'll go in there. One ladybug will approximately eat. 50 aphids for every ladybug, okay, during, during its cycle and life or what, what have you. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert on this. Um, you guys are welcome to um, make comments and correct me on anything. We could all learn. figure this is more of like a learning experience for everybody. Um, also, what happens is you could, you could go buy like ladybugs. I get them from Amazon.com. I, I have the Prime package, so it's free shipping on certain items, okay? So, what happens is they come in and they could eat all the aphids, but there could be another situation. They could let all the eggs that are down into the soil and everything. Your ladybugs could be gone, dead or gone or, you, you know, what have you, and the, all the eggs hatch and you got aphids again. So, so you got to really inspect 
And uh, sometimes if you have a bad aphid problem, it's always good to get a second wave of ladybugs to come in. Or if you have enough um, to keep them going. So, um, okay. Let's see. what, what uh, One thing I'm going to do, I want to progress learning, um, doing research while I can. Uh, I'm running this pepper company, and I'm also doing other work, welding. I've been a welder for 17 years. I'm, I've been, you can tell the eyes, I've been working my butt off. Um, but I'm trying to learn, learn and advance my company as much as possible. And I want to share it all with, with you guys, you know. Um, so this is what I did. I got, went out, I could have built this myself real easily. They told me to watch out. I think this opens up this way. You can put stuff in here. You can put, uh, I think like sugar water in there and stuff. I could have easily built this myself, but to be honest, it was on sale, free shipping. It wasn't that much. Um, and as much as I work, so... I'm going to use this. I heard i got to watch out because other things could be a habitat in here. So I'm going to try that. I think I have to put a little bit of sugar water in there. Maybe some hay, grass, stuff like that. So um, also there's sprays you can buy on the market that does that. Um, praying mantises, as I mentioned before. Neem oil. My go-to thing is ladybugs. So uh, any questions, concerns, or anything... This isn't a perfect video. This is just more of getting people to think about, hey, got to inspect those plants, you know, before they're too late and everything. So, all right. Um, have a good, healthy, happy grow this season. And I'm here to answer any questions. And if I do not know the questions, when I have time, I will do research so we could all learn. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.